We're going to take a look at Lego Technics at Control Transformation Vehicle. This transforms from blue to orange and it is app controlled using the Control Plus. The set comes with two motors and one control hub. It has 772 pieces and retails for $129.99 on lego.com. In the box there is one instruction book and unfortunately no printed parts. It is all stickers, all 29 of them. It's only a four bag build, not taking too long, roughly around two hours from start to finish. One of the most laborious things was installing all of the stickers. The contents for bag one wasn't too great, consisting with a lot of pins because everything is built off the two motors and then the control hub. Once bag one is fully assembled, you can see the overall framework is looking good and you can get the nice shape and feel for it. Bag 2 incorporates all the components that has the flipping mechanism and the two seating areas and some of the side panels. Bag 3 completes the rest of the chassis and bodywork and gets ready for the tracks. Up until this point in the build it was not too repetitive and was quite enjoyable but the next stage, the final stage which is bag 4, consisted of all the different elements or all two of the elements for the tracks, which was the tracks and the rubber pieces to give the tracks some grip. This was quite a laborious task, but didn't take too long in the grand scheme. I like to make things a little bit more enjoyable, so I do things in stages, making them into twos and then into twelves and then finally into two strips of 48. Then added on all the rubber feet, which was quite fiddly as my fingers are a little bit too big for these tiny little rubber bits. Once complete, this is the end result and I think it looks really, really cool. As much as I did not enjoy doing the stickers, they do add a lot of character to it and make it stand out and look really unique. I think for such a small build and considering that nearly 200 pieces are made up in the tracks alone, it's actually quite a detailed build and as I say, was really fun to do. I placed it in front of the new Lego Technic crane for a little bit of a size comparison and it is quite small next to it and here it is being lifted up by the crane. Let's take a look at it in action. So this is it in action, it's not quite as fast as I would like to have been, I mean maybe you can change the gear ratio which I did think about doing at the initial stage of the build but I was unsure because I don't know how much torque it needs in order to be able to climb up the wall and flip. But it flips up quite well, it was a little bit difficult to film, I had to keep the camera static because as it's a track uh, mechanism it, it uses both thumbs on the app to make it go forward and also to steer. Previously there I was just showing the mechanism that the cab lifts up and down as it flips and here you can see it slightly better reference in scale against the crane as it's not moving you can see that it's using the crane to climb up of and the crane doesn't really move at all. But this was a really fun little build. I bought it for my girls to have a little play around with and I think they're gonna really enjoy it. I don't want to go already, I just got a bit used to you know the track controls but overall great little set and highly recommend it on the app there is little challenges that you can do um if you've got the space to do it so it makes it a little bit more enjoyable but thank you for watching this guys i'll see you in the next one goodbye for now